How's it going, everyone? Nick from Comic Culture here. Happy new comic book day. Time for the comic book haul. Let's see what I'm picking up this week. Welcome back. So big shout out to Cadets Toys and Comics. Links will be down below in the description and make sure to sign up for their newsletter as well. Really light week this week when it comes to comics. Let me know if you have a similar situation going on. Star Wars, Darth Vader issue number 45, the Rebels anniversary cover. Just picking it up for the Rebels covers, not reading the book, just uh, cover grabbing that one right there. Ultimate X-Men issue number two, Peach Momoko. Interesting number one. Number two is out now. We'll see if it actually brings the X-Men title to the forefront here instead of just focusing on one character. A reprint for Ultimate Black Panther issue number one. Again, Peach on the cover for this one. Just kind of stacking this for right now. That's actually it for Marvel. Going over to DC, we have Batman First Night issue number two, Dan Jurgens, Perkins, and Spicer on this one. DC Black Label, $7 price point. Probably one of the biggest bangs for your buck when it comes to Batman nowadays. Definitely check this one out and hopefully you can get issue number one at your shop as well. Rick Remender on Napalm Lullaby, issue number two. We had a lot of questions coming out of issue number one. Hopefully we get some answers in here. Get a little more world building. Focus on some uh, our main characters a little bit more. Issue number two is out this week. Kind of a controversial issue, in my opinion. Jorge Corona is on the art duties now for Transformers issue number seven. Daniel Warren Johnson still on the story, and we have Mike Spicer on the colors still. I look through this one. It looks amazing in the interiors. Really, really solid transition of art styles, I would say. I would say that somebody who's not super familiar with Daniel Warren Johnson wouldn't even know, to be honest with you. Long-term fans will think that's blasphemy, but definitely check this one out. If you were hesitant on the art shift, I think we're going to be fine, guys. Check that one out for sure. Next, we have Beneath the Trees, where nobody sees issue number five. Got the A cover here and double dipping, getting the B covers as well for this one because I love this series. Perfect blend of horror and it has this child animation style to it too. So it's like Dexter meets Richard Scarry's art style. It's just such a cool combination of things. Definitely read this one. It's one of my favorite books out right now. Highly recommended. But guys, that's everything I picked up this week. Let me know down below what you're grabbing and what your most anticipated books of the week are. While you're down there, like, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification to be alerted whenever I put out new videos. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the comments.